my name is Hannah and I'm currently living with multiple sclerosis. Um, and I, I make art for other people and I teach art as well. So this is our, our project for today. Um, it's a spray painting. Um, and it's really easy to make a lot of these. So if you have multiple papers, then please keep them coming, keep them flowing, keep making more. Um, you don't have a limit with this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, pick our colors for our first picture. I'm just gonna set this aside just really quickly. Um, I'm also going to make my picture the main, I'm gonna spotlight my picture really quickly. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, I would lay your colors out or like set them aside. That way you can easily access them. You can see them easily. You can also take a look at your colors and figure out if they work well together. Um, I personally love this combo. I always tend to go for this combo. So I may as well just stick with it. And actually I kind of like this one. This one's called Parakeet, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can stick with a certain color palette based off of the time of year. Um, perhaps it's something a little bit more fall, more fall, fall colors if you like. I wish I had a burgundy because then I would definitely use burgundy in here. Anyway, I have a bunch of colors. Um, so pick at least three, but you may choose more than that, of course. Um, and what we are going to be doing is um, we're going to be dotting our colors and literally just um, opening it up, um, making a little dot of color. Once we have lots of dots of color, then we're going to take our, our hard material, so this uh, either gift card or piece of cardboard, and we're going to scrape it down all the way down, Anna? at least as much as we can. I, I, yeah. Hello? Is that Brandy? I, I can't see. I can't see you. I, I don't know why. Huh. Marianne, um, yeah. really? Well, I spot, all I, I sp see is a black screen. Is it something oh. with my Zoom? I saw you before. Hmm. I, 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 see I see you. I see you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so maybe it's oh. maybe it's tablet or a computer. I'm on an iPad right now. If I go to 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 see, I could see other people, but I no, I I don't see. I wonder that if it's odd. I saw you a while ago. I don't know what changed. Are you in speaker view? Can you do that? Uh, Okay, I'm trying to switch to very strange. You were there and now you're gone. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll go out and come back in. Yeah, that yeah, help? that might help. Yeah, Casey will be here it's to weird. let you in. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. leave and oh, now now I can see you. Oh, I don't yeah, that's know. odd. No. Okay, <laughs> never mind. You're back. You're back. I'm not okay. leaving. I'm staying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so after we dot all of our colors, we'll be taking our, our hard object and scraping it all the way down and perhaps, perhaps layering the colors um, after that. You can see right here, this particular one, I put white paint on top of my other colors. I also put um, red on top of, and yellow as well on top of these colors. So you can see they overlap a little bit. Each color is gonna, is gonna work differently. So just keep that in mind. Not even I can predict how every single color is going to work and, and how it's going to layer. So this one doesn't have any layers. Um, and I wanted to show you the difference between these two. So I actually intended on creating cards. So you can see I folded my paper completely in half. Um, I didn't cut it, although you certainly can cut it if you want to. And I created a card. So that's an option as well. Oh, give me one second, guys. I think I accidentally locked my boyfriend out of the apartment. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm right, right back. <laughs> so how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> pretty well. Yeah. Good, pretty good. Yeah. Okay. 
My yeah. apologies, you guys. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys can see that now. There we go. Is it back to normal? Okay, anyways, I'm sorry guys. I didn't mean to lock him out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like without the tape as the border. So if you like this look right here and you happen to have that blue painter's tape or green tape, um, go ahead and take this time to tape your area around. So um, I didn't do that with this one. You can see, um, you can see that right there. Um, now, if you are not using tape, then here's what you do with some of your napkins. When we actually begin, we're gonna place some napkins um, above our paper and also below our paper. So just one, I mean, sometimes one napkin will do, you know, I, I need two of them. But the important part is to have some uh, paint above and some paint below because that's gonna catch the excess paint as well. So this is another reason why we need a lot of napkins as well. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna grab my piece of paper and let's see, I need, I think I'll do a long piece of paper just to show you what happens. I'm going to scooch that up there. Um, but again, if you want to fold your paper in half, you can absolutely do that. I'm just going to do a long piece of paper. That way it's more room to show you guys what happens. There we go. Okay, so I've got my colors um, aside right here. I have my gift card. Now, the fun part begins. We're not using any. Um, we're not using any paintbrushes here. We're literally just dotting things. Um, and, oh, and I'm sorry. I wanted to show you what happens when um, optional. If you added a little bit of pen. I just drew some simple little flowers here. So just Ooh. this is just an idea for later. And if you guys are up for it, we can absolutely do absolutely do this for another project um, later on in the year. So um, I'll keep if you like this kind of thing, I'll keep that in mind. So you can definitely do some pen before your acrylic paint or after your acrylic paint. Here's what I did in last year, last winter. Oh, I like this was that after. One. This is, this is really fun. I used um, a Q-tip to make the, the tree. And I, this is the pen right here. I just made little snowflakes falling down. That happened after all the paint. So just an idea to throw, to, throw out to you guys. I just have a question. When you said you're gonna do the dots on top, do you actually add later on or are you really just gonna go, okay, these are the colors? Oh, um, uh, it, so I'm going to add all the dots first, and then we'll go and scrape it. Does that make sense? Now, when I add the dots, I do want to be careful about how much I actually add, because it's real easy, and you'll see it when I pour out the green paint. It's really easy to make a, a really big dot of paint, because, I don't know, there's something something to do with this particular color. It just comes out really easily. So watch out for yours. Hannah, and that wasn't so bad. Yes. So if I don't have green, do I use red and blue? Or oh, um, good question. You can use honestly any color you want. If you don't have green, um, it depends on what kind of... Uh, color scheme you're going for if you're going for a color scheme what do you what do you think are you going for something in particular um I kind of like the greens a lot mm -hmm. and I don't have green <laughs> ah so then if you don't um, have green um blue and yellow mixed together to create green. So you okay. could, um, I think in this instance, it would, you would need like a, a paper plate and a, um, was it a, a, a paper plate and a paintbrush 
to mix the colors beforehand. Would you like a little demonstration? No, I can, I can do it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Of course. I can do it right on top of this. Oh, you know what would be interesting? What if I, okay, I'm just experimenting on the spot here, you guys. What if I were to put the yellow and the blue on top? That would require a little bit of precision in placing the dots in the correct order. That might be an interesting idea, layer your dots. Um, you do wanna keep in mind though, that um, it is a good idea to keep them relatively small-ish, small to medium if you can manage it. Um, I always like to add white paint um, somewhere on the bottom, specifically because I like a certain effect that happens. Let me show you, here it is. This effect right here. Uh, the white and really any other, really any other color that you put below down here, lower on your paper, it will also show up as if you didn't have anything else above it. So it's a pretty cool effect. I would say this particular picture is very much an experiment. Just kind of playing with the colors looking to see what happens when you layer them all. And whoops, a lot, that's a lot of paint, but that's okay, it's a big paper. Now, you all know that I like to go crazy with the colors, so I'm already looking for another color to add. Some of these colors um, might mix a little bit depending on how you layer it. Like this, for example, um, classically, orange and blue often make a sort of brownish, greenish color. Um, I happen to love that color. I happen to love the layering personally, so I don't mind it at all. Um, keep that in mind though. So let's see, can I, what can I do to show you guys the color mixture? I suppose I can put a little bit of purple right next to the yellow because those are opposite colors and that'll probably make, make brown. You guys will be able to see that. I'm doing that on purpose. Perhaps I'll do a little bit more green and then I cannot wait to show you what the scraping looks like. Oops. There we go. Are there any questions so far? No questions. All right, Anna. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. What if I what if I put too much color on by accident when I squeezed it? Like, is it like a, a huge like globule or like a big <laughs> globule? No, it's. I mean, the paper's going to no. absorb the. Water. Yeah, the paper will absorb a little bit, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Your um, your napkin will will catch a lot of it. So if you put too much, it's okay. I'm actually gonna move my colors so that they're out of the way. I've got a whole basket here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like when I start to scrape it downward. I've got the napkin to sort of catch my paint down here. Um, and now when I, take this, I'm going to try my best. It's not always going to happen, but I'm going to try my best to make sure that the edge, the edges here don't really interfere too much with one of your globules. So I can see right here that if I were to start here, it's not going to interfere with either of these two globules, dots, I should say. I'm going to hold it flat, all the way flat, all the way down. And it's gonna mix and mingle down closer to the bottom, but it's gonna be a bit more ghostly at the top. And I'll have excess here. Um, I normally will just wipe it away on my napkin. Um, 
However, there's another technique in which if you wanted to, you could just, I won't really show it now, but you could just scrape this on another sheet of paper if you wanted to, if you didn't want to waste so much of the paint, but that's another lesson, I think. So for now, I'm just going to um, wipe my gift card off after every swipe. Wipe your gift card off after every swipe. And that part's pretty important because if you have paint on the edges of your gift card, it's gonna show up up here. It's gonna show up as a line. So just kind of be conscious of it, wipe it after every swipe. And you don't have to be nearly as thorough as I was. That was just to show you. And now I'm gonna do another swipe. And because I know that the next swipe is gonna interfere with these dots over here, I'm gonna use the thinner side, the thinner side right here. I'm gonna swipe it down, keep it flat. And I can see my ghostly white paint pop up underneath. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm going to, I'll move on to the next one. And now my fingers are getting a little, a little dirty. Keep those napkins nearby. I'm gonna use my non-dirty finger to sort of keep it, keep it down. Once again, dividing it up, scraping it down. You can see my paint catching down here. That's good. These almost look like little, like little faces, almost. Does anyone have questions? This is yeah, honestly- Yeah, doesn't go all the way down. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, next time around, you'll just need to put more paint, but I'll show you how to um, add more after, after you've done everything else. We can add more. Yes, if you didn't add enough, that's totally okay. Um, I totally wish that I had added more white paint here. So when I show you that part, I am gonna add more white paint to that spot right there in particular. Um, the white paint or really anything else you put on top of it is, uh, is going to layer, it's gonna be transparent. Um, so it may or may not mix with the color underneath it. Again, it just depends on your particular color and your particular brand. I wish I, I knew all of that, you know, but I don't. There's so many colors out there. So I got my last few dots. Just gonna scrape it all down. And voila, I love these two colors together. Just makes me happy. Yay, I cannot wait to see everyone's. I love this project so much. Before I move on, um, has anyone done any, anything creative this week? Well, I made the owl. <laughs> That's right, yes, yes. The owl, that's definitely a good one. Oh, Tony, I see you holding that up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add you to the spotlight. There we go. Oh, wow. oh very pretty. Oh, it's Tony. supposed to be some kind of flowers, but yeah, I'm I really, love it. I'm not really yeah. Ready. Yes, you're using a technique that I love to call squishy paintbrush technique. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful, Tony. And I'm still plugging away at my paint by numbers. I started like in July. Um, oh, that's Tony got, funny. A, Tony got a little bit left, like a corner. Wow. But there we go. Uh, I don't know if you could wow. see. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that's beautiful. Yeah. So I got a little bit left, but it's only taken me two months. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's a lot of color. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those like very detailed. Um, I have to get a magnifying glass to see some oh, of the small ones. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, re I remember when you first showed us, it was a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm almost done. So <laughs> no, <laughs> you I'm did really good. Hopefully okay. next week I could show you the completed project. But we'll see how far I get. <laughs> Brandy, I see you up here. I'm yeah. going to add you real quick. So here you go. The aura pastels, and I learned that, like you mentioned, so I closed the book, and the flowers went on top of my mountain here. I see. Yep, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see your your flowers in your mountains. Whoops. But it was still fun to Thank play you. around with and make those flowers. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How honestly, are you doing? honestly, you that's beautiful. To? Thanks. It, it made the flowers pretty easy. Oh, the roses good. that you know you taught us. Yeah, yeah. So it was the blending okay with it? Yeah, I just I just kind of did swirls. Oh, that's nice. You just yeah. did swirls? That's awesome. It's beautiful. Thanks. Yay, thank you, Brandy. So for anybody new here, I always love to ask this question. Have you done anything? creative this week because you know I want you guys to do some creative things so uh I just want to encourage you guys to do that anyone else before I move on to the next step I have a quick question if no one's going to show art about taping oh yes yes so are we supposed to tape to the um paper towel oh no um tape to your surface instead yeah okay mm -hmm. tape to your sense. surface yeah, the towel, um, you could just have the towel underneath it. That's, that gets a little tricky. Normally, yeah. I, I don't usually have a problem getting paint outside of the tape. Okay. Normally. All right, guys, let's do it. Okay. Um, so I mentioned earlier that I would like to bring out um, this white paint right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reapply my white paint. And it's not going to be as um, drastically white as you see here. However, it is going to show up um, at least a little bit. And I'm trying to find you that example I just had. Here's a different example, but same thing, same idea. So you can see I added white right on top of everything after that first scraping layer. So you can see it shows up. Now that paper is slightly more textured than this one, which is why you see more of those bumps. And it's absolutely okay to add a little more paint, slightly larger um, dots. Oh yes, April says that she taped hers to newspaper. That's a good idea. She taped her piece of paper to newspaper. That's a good one. So I, I've added. Mm -hmm. I thought I was just going to practice to see yeah. what, to see what um, I can do, but um, I found out something. It, this was just a practice, so. Yeah, let me I add you real quick. Oh, whoops! Oh. There you are. Okay. Oh, Karen, that's beautiful. And then I found, but I was just throwing colors on when you were talking, and I said, "I'll start when she starts." <laughs> I just started doing that. Wow. How did she do that? Well, I, I discovered. How did you do that? So I discovered that I, there's a smudge brush. So I was trying different things. Oh. I've been using the crayon. But then I use a smudge brush. But I'm so excited because I just found out I can smudge back up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Honestly, that's reminding me of, um, how is it really called? Sarapes. They're uh, a type of Mexican blanket that are, uh, yeah, Mexican blanket that have um, those types of different colors spread throughout. Um, I love it, Karen. I just wanted to see what would happen. And then I just, yeah. well, I'm just practicing. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. Now it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's morphed now. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I'm adding um, different colors as well, not just not just white. I'll add a little blue so you guys can see what that looks like when it layers. Um, perhaps I'll do my teal as well. Why not? 
Let's do actually let's do tulip here. Why not? I can even honestly, if you wanted to, you could even add another paint above your area here. And it'll it'll of course still it's still going to have this dome, but it's also going to layer once it gets to the other colors. So same idea. You're going to want to make sure that you're not really um, in the way of others. Ta -da, and scrape it down. See that? I love that little white one right there. And then again, I am wiping off. I'm being very thorough with my gift card. And then we're going to do the same thing here. This little guy keeps dripping down, but we'll just work with it. Ah, here's a good thing right here. Um, you see how it didn't quite make it all the way down right here? Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wipe off my gift card again. And I'm going to see if I can go over that same area again, just sort of all the way again. So I originally I'd started up here. I'm going to go over it again, spread what's already there, or I'm sorry, spread what's still there. And that begins my first one. So y'all are welcome to make some more. How do you know you're done? <laughs> I know, right? You know, you don't know, right? Here, I don't really know. Honestly, since you posed that question, I could add more to this, but I do want to show you guys um, another card. Um, I know that I had, very quickly shown this card right here and I had meant to make balloons up here I don't look like balloons guys so <laughs> that's that's not a balloon they don't, that's not a balloon no <laughs> so I'm gonna remake this one for you guys <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna stick with this little balloon right here I was thinking that like they could be really colorful mountains in the distance and there's a balloon, you know, going by <laughs> or several balloons going by, but we're not going to do several balloons. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys are having fun with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make another one right here. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where my blue painter's tape is. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is. So um, I had to think about it for a second, but that's okay. You you already saw what it looks like without the painter's tape. Maybe I'll make a larger one. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I just like that color scheme right there. Just want to stick with that. And if you have any questions about your own color schemes and sort of what to what to choose. Um, I can help you with that. Um, I have a little, I go, I go to Pinterest um, very often and I look for color schemes that way on Pinterest. Cause I'll be honest, like I definitely need some help um, oftentimes with color schemes. And so that's where I go for inspiration. It's not easy choosing the colors. It is so humid here, Hannah. Oh goodness, where are you from? Where are you? I'm at? in Rochester, New York. This is Wendy. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, Rochester. Um, really, what's the temperature like? Well, you probably would like it. <laughs> it's like uh, 78 degrees out, oh, but it's yes, humid. I, yes. The humidity <laughs> is really too much. Oh, man. I heard yeah. my neighbor saying, oh, she's like, um, open up all the windows. And he said, the windows are open. Oh, it's so humid. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, honestly, the humidity would still drive me crazy, I think, even in 78 degree weather. Yeah, it's it's a bit much. I'm, I was very optimistic about um, San Antonio in particular because 
for a while there, it seemed like our temperature was going down at, at least five degrees and it made a huge difference. Um, but uh, it's gone back up to normal again. So not fun. Yesterday we had like winter weather. Thank goodness it rained. Wow. I had to put on like, you know, not sandals with MS. It's like, oh my God. it's raining oh my god it's gonna rain i gotta put on a jacket and like little gloves yeah and then today i went swimming and it's like 75 degrees out (laughs) oh my goodness that actually sounds amazing where's that i'm in oakland which is right across from san francisco and only like 20 degrees warmer and more sunny (laughs) 20 degrees warmer. Wow. Sometimes. Ish, yeah. ish, ish, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> That's kind of amazing to me, actually. Now, I, um, in this particular picture, I actually had bronze, like this one right here. It's like a metallic color. Ooh. So I put that in here. It, it sparkles a little bit more than what you see, although I can see it on the, on the screen. So still gonna use that. Um, let's see, it had my white paint and pink, and I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five. That was actually six colors. So honestly, at this point, um, unless you guys have questions, I'm just gonna talk out loud about what's going on in my head because I think we're all kind of doing our own thing right now and making our own pictures um so I'm just gonna talk and if you have questions then please feel free to uh interrupt me yeah now where did this Mm -hmm. come from like where did did it come from a certain country or oh like this this kind of scraping on paper Ah. um no they come from the American Indians or no, Pinterest, absolutely Pinterest. I think I, the paint um, companies came up with it because it seems to use a lot of paint. Yeah, uh, that's, that's probably good. it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. I, I honestly, um, what, how did it come across? Actually, I, I learned about this process from a coworker of mine. Um, she works with me, um, at the, or the, the hospital, the, for the arts organization that I work for there. And, um, she showed me this idea and then I, I researched it, um, on Pinterest to get more ideas. Um, yeah. And we've, we use it at the hospital with the, with the, the cancer patients at their bedside all the time. You know, if they feel like doing a, an art project, that's that's different because um, this is definitely very different um, than this is this. Anna, I do this you are often. just a, you are just a remarkable person. Oh, thank you. That's I very adore sweet you. Of you. I can't believe you work with cancer patients like that. Oh, thank you. you. Are I, <laughs> I got very, very, very lucky. I really did. Um, the organization uh, that I work for. Um, I say that I'm lucky and I, I truly mean that. Um, I, was, I was talking out loud at a, at a different, a different uh, a paint and sit place, like one of those paint and sit places like painting with a twist or something, um, but it wasn't that one. So I was working for them and uh, just talking out loud to anybody who would listen. <laughs> um, and my coworker was listening and she told me about this organization and told me that they were they were hiring and um what was i talking about i'm trying to think what am i talking about i was talking specifically about um ms and my journey with ms and what the arts have done for me specifically and so she was like, well, that's, that's exactly what we're looking for. You know, it seems like you're a good candidate. So um, I was very lucky to get hired on the spot. So it was great. Such a great feeling. When wow, that that's awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, that is great because like, I would like to have that in our area here, but oh, yeah, you know, nobody, it doesn't come across. Yeah, yeah. And it is not common. In fact, I feel like there's only 
a handful of organizations like that. Um, yeah, I, I do wish that it was more widespread. I really do. That's a lot of dots for this one little little piece of paper. I can't <laughs> stop on mine and I'm like I'm not happy with it. Oh, you you're not happy with it? Yeah. Can I uh oh it? no yeah, I'm happy yeah. with that middle blue. But you know, it turns out I can well, I can always layer, you know, on this thing. Uh-huh. Always, I mean, um trying to find your screen. Let's see. Because this was just a practice, but it's too good to just be a practice at this point <laughs> there we go you don't like the blue in the middle yeah i don't know there's something yeah I, I, you know i never intended to do that pink and blue on the end and so it's uh -huh. but then i'm like okay but there it is did you Ooh, go both ways Karen? say that again like did you go um up and down with well yeah dog? i found out with the smudge brush that i can go because oh. sometimes i did stuff and i didn't like it and then i did the smudge brush oh, wow i could smudge it back up to where it was okay i'll try that too are you using a tablet oh no paper oh, oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, why, yeah why couldn't you yeah i don't know maybe i should just i'm also yeah. not happy i have squares instead of little tippy tops squares I oh i yeah i see what you too doing. intense so i don't it's just bothering me plus i i have problems just i i don't want to you know, it seems like a lot of paint and i have uh, dry paint so i'm like oh i'm just great i mean there's so much scraped off right and i tried to reuse it and that's when i got squares you well, tried I, to reuse it what do you like, mean by that well like i just thought oh there's a lot more on there and so then i just tried to on the card i tried to smush more on the paper and it just smushed everywhere in kind of a card shape which oh. is like kind of a square instead of a gotcha i'd show well, you but it's taped to my desk <laughs> <laughs> that's okay um you know what why don't i try and fix some of these guys up here because you can see yeah. that this one's very squarish and this one's just kind of i don't know what's going on with that one <laughs> so once i finish scraping everything i'll mm -hmm. go back and show you you can reapply paint to wherever you, you need to reapply it hmm, okay um kind of like um i don't know like a, a redo or like a reset i guess yeah um but yeah let me let me go ahead and scrape what i've got here i always have yeah. to make sure that my hands are that my fingers are clean because i'm getting paint on my fingers too so watch out for that but also when you don't like what you're doing i mean how many times have you went oh god i don't like that <laughs> I just don't like it. You know, and then you look at it like a few days later and you're like, that is so cool. <laughs> yes, yes. No, you're you're totally right though, Karen, because um I often anytime I'm I have a painting, I always hate the middle. The beginning, I love it. The the middle is no. <laughs> it it's not it's not where it needs to be, but at the end of it, that's when I start to to love it. Um, and I suppose while you're actually, you know, going back to your question about when to know if it's, if, when it's finished, um, sort you can sort of start to gauge it by how you feel about it too. If you're just not happy with it, you hate it. Um, if you keep working on it, keep adding to it, keep, uh, I, if you're if you're using acrylic paints, um, you can always go over certain certain parts and redo them. Um, it it takes it takes a little bit extra, but it's possible. Um, but it, anyway, where's I going with this? Um, it is it is possible to to keep on working on it and and gauge whether or not you love it as you're working on it. Hope all that made sense. I know I jumped everywhere. And I think I need another napkin. I'm kind Maybe. of torn. I'm torn because it's like, well, this was just supposed to be a practice, but now I'm into it. <laughs> You're really into it. Out. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, Karen, what if you were to um, make another one right now? Work on another one right now. Yeah, I think I'm just, I just hit the button for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then come back to the other one. So Brandy, um, 
you can see right here, I just kind of, I kind of missed this yeah. guy. I <laughs> didn't quite get him. Um, and then this one over here, what I'm going to do is uh, reapply. Okay. So got my bronze. And I, I actually want to make sure that this, um, the edge of the, the opening here is, is at least free of too much excess paint. So I'm going to wipe it, wiping it up over here. Because that does make a little bit of a difference, so not always too much of a difference. So I'm going to tap, do my best to line it up, but, but this dot is going to be a little bit bigger than the dot I had before. Although that was an accident, it's a little too big, but that's okay. It's bronze. And then this guy right here. You see how there's like something, I don't even know yeah. how that happened, something sticking out. Um, I'm going to reapply a color. So I could stick with, with another bronze dot if I wanted to, or I could go a little bit darker than that and completely cover it up. So um, if you're going darker, it's much easier to cover up these colors. Hmm. So I could do red, actually. I could do another red. That's definitely a darker color. So once again, just kind of making sure it's mostly clear. And then this little line here, it takes up a lot of space. So what I'm going to do, because I know that these dots flare out once you scrape them, I put the dot above that line because I know it's going to flare out. Yeah. It's going to get wider as I go down. So now I can start again, make sure this is clean. It was not clean like I thought it was. And then start again. And there we go. I am much happier with that. And do the little dots at the tip, does that, is that because you like wait longer to smear it and it like soaks in to that spot or? Oh, like up here? I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, that, okay. is, that is a possibility though. Well, no, I just did it and I immediately scraped it and there's still a little, it's like a little, it's like people wrapped up. Yeah, they do look like people. They do. Little ghosties. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I knew. For this little guy, um, I'm going to reapply some more of that same purple paint. And then do some more scraping. There we go. I like that. Now I did want to get rid of, I don't know if you guys saw me, but I scraped again at the bottom here because there was like a clump that I didn't like. So I scraped it. However, I personally love this line right here. Mm -hmm. This line basically meant that the, the edge right here, this corner, it didn't quite make it all the way. However, I'm looking at it and I like it. So I'm going to keep it. So if you guys see anything like that, and please keep it. It all just depends on your own picture. Feel it out as you go. I think I'm done with this one. I like it. Although I could go further. I could add some more. <laughs> There's definitely the possibility of that. Because mm. like these, these, uh, these guys right here look like they're standing right next to each other. Could add another thing there. I'm just going to refer to them as people. <laughs> these people like here. Fingers to me. <laughs> there we go. Place that there. Um, does anyone want to share theirs? I mean, it's only 7.50. We still have plenty of time. Oh, I see Sharon. Let me put you up here, Sharon. There we go. Look at that color choice. I love that. That's reminding me of uh, springtime. Oh, yay. Another one. Yes. That's a fiesta on your paper. Yes. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, Sharon. Cool. I see you, Susie. Let me add you, Susie. There we go. Another fiesta. I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Your, your, um, your layering of the, the colors at the top is gorgeous. I love that you did that. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Oh, that's reminding me of mountains. And then at the top, like very abstract clouds up there. Super cool. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, I'm just going by my screen here. Brandy, I see you. Here we go. Oh, there we go. The texture of your paper is lovely too. And I love that you started that pink in the middle. I love that you started that way above so that it covers everything. Oh, you're, you're muted. Yeah, I didn't know how to make the square go away. I covered it up here, but I, I didn't know how to cover oh, it up there. Oh, so. gotcha, gotcha. So I, I did try going both ways on my other little one. There we go. I like that a lot. Somehow there was blue in my pink. I don't know how that and you're <laughs> Somehow, oh, that's funny. Um, the layering is really nice though. Like the way they, they layer. Yeah. Nice yeah, colors. that's really nice. Yay. Yeah, and the colors too. Very cool. Honestly, Brandy, I actually like the square <laughs> at the top. <laughs> it sets it apart. <laughs> Yep. Awesome. Tony, I see you. Hi. Oh, a, a there circle. we go, Tony. Oh, you said a circle. What wow. in the world? I know. Yeah, that's... I, did, I applied oh. the paint on the canvas board and then I used this a big cardboard thing to just circle it around and uh, around. You know. Twirl it around. Oh, yeah. I you like have that. a lazy Susan or something, you could just <laughs> that's a good idea too. <laughs> I like that idea. Very cool. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. That was a cool idea. Heather, I see you, Heather. I'm going to add you. Oh, that, yeah, that layering is gorgeous. Very, very fall colors, fall vibes. They look like trees, honestly. They're so beautiful. And is that, is that blue that I see with your brown? Uh, it's like a silver iridescent silver uh, that's interesting I like that it's kind of weird <laughs> no I love <laughs> I like the effect it definitely looks like it's blue on one side at least I think they hang those in like doctor's offices and <laughs> that's the abstract <laughs> no, yeah very brassy like metallic yeah mm -hmm. yeah it is yeah I like that a lot they're both really interesting. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. How did I April. Get paint over my face? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. April, you're spotlighted. Those colors, I can't get over them. I'm loving wow. those so much. And you were so brave to, to add the, uh, the yellow right on top of the purple. I'm loving that, um, that contrast right there. That's beautiful. Thank you, April. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> I know. I love it. Yay. And Tony, I see you again. You got another one. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. Did you do this just now? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is cool. Is the whole oh, thing painted? Really cool. Gee. Yeah, I, um, I applied paint on to this board at the, the ridge. Uh, yeah. They dragged the cardboard <laughs> down the canvas. That's a wow. good look. I love that so much. That reminds me like, um, you know, like uh, how like if you look in a lake and you see the reflection of the trees and all that in the lake, that's what that reminds me of. Oh, Very yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty. That's beautiful. Thank you. Wow, Tony, yeah. that's a good idea. Lots of good ideas here. Yeah. All right. Who else would like to share? Marianne, I see you. Let me put you up. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh. I know. Look at the bottom though. There's something about yeah. like the end there where the where the colors start to taper off down there I love the way that's layered and the way that looks there's yeah, something about you. that yeah and I can see you added um, some a little bit of white paint on, on one of the portions too mm -hmm. 
that's a great layering effect that like that whole section right there is my favorite <laughs> oh thank cool. you yeah thank you marianne gotcha all right Anna, i have a little you asked about the creativity uh-huh yeah uh, you know i'm like verbal i made the owls at the ampian group uh -huh. made my owl and i really suffered with it for a while <laughs> But um, it just made me so happy to just, you know, after I just made me so happy. And, you know, the, uh, the thing of you saying, oh, you know, find a name. And then I thought of that, the bird is the word, the pop up, uh -huh. and it just, it created this name. And I was just so delighted that on Friday, I was still like carrying this joy with me. And then because I added a song, I sent to you, but I sent to friends of mine because I'm not mm -hmm. out anymore. You know, I don't go out. People don't see mm -hmm. me. And I said, hey, look what I made. You know, I'm looking for a name for this owl. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, people wrote back, oh, well, I think you got the name. If that, that's it. But to share it was just so giddy. But this is like amazing. So Friday night, I, I went to Friday night services at my synagogue. It's a very small synagogue. It's Berkeley, very artsy fartsy. Yeah. And, um, there's always a place to name someone in a healing circle or say a prayer for the dead but this was on zoom and they're like who are you dedicating your services to so the whole friday i was just like bubbly i was out and i could just i was just it was infectious you know like whatever it were. and then i just yeah. said, okay i'm gonna dedicate this to hannah garrison my art instructor and spirit guide karen <laughs> But wait, Karen. but wait, you know, and it was, the it was the muse telling me, you know, and I didn't think about it. It was just blah, I blurted it out. Well, then I get like a private chat from someone and she said, you know, we're having an art show at the end of October. You know, do you want to be in the art show? And I thought, well, what the hell? Where did that come from? Because <laughs> I, I forgot that I had, you know, it's like, why would anybody think I'm an artist? So I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> Karen, are you oh. going to enter? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think like you can enter. You know, I think you just like if you want to do something. But I think like my stories that go with the art, you know, the painting, like, oh, and then this happened and then that happened. And, yeah. You know, I haven't, I just, I just thought, wow, talk about creativity, just like cascading. No, yeah, no, you're right, because you you always have stories to go with it. So um, I don't see how that can't be incorporated into an art show if you ever wanted to do that, Karen, really. Well, you know, I think it's not, you know, I don't think it's like an arch, you know, it's just for yeah. Thanksgiving, they had a like a sharing mm -hmm. circle and people could sing or perform, you know, I did like a little performance thing or storytelling. So I think it's that, but I just was like, why is someone asking me to be in an art show? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> aha. <laughs> yeah. Aha. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I love, I love that story. I love that story so much. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, Karen, you've grown so much with your art and just, you know, your your attitude. Like it's it's infectious to me too. Um, just the whole attitude that you have now, you know, coming in and starting a new, a new art project and learning something. So, um, I, yeah, you know, for people who don't know, it's like, I'm using my left hand. I never made art anyway. I always had art mm -hmm. phobia and I'm using my left hand mm -hmm. and I can't write with my right or my left, but it's creating new neural pathways. Yeah, it is. It is. I it was really able is. to write with my right hand, a recipe that even Google could recognize the text. And then I wanted to show you that I was cheating with the palette and I wrote and I was like, I've never written before with this left hand. Yeah. Wow, Karen, that's, that's awesome. Cool. Uh-huh. That's cool. Wow, yeah. that's like a miracle. But the, mm -hmm. the, the, the joy, okay, I was like, I had to go to the dentist and like I even made them feel good. And then I went into Ross. And I was just so giddy from this making the owl and the, the whole creativity. There was a, the security guard was there and he has this thing that says loss prevention. And he was talking in Spanish with a coworker. And I could tell they were just chatting. And I interrupted and I said, excuse me, I saw the loss prevention. I've lost my mind. I was wondering if you can help me. 
You didn't even get it. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that, read. Karen? Yeah. Karen, can yeah. you repeat that? What? Yeah, can you, can you repeat that? Can you repeat no. that, please? So I, I saw the loss prevention and I said to the guy, and he's, I even interrupted his conversation. And I said, excuse me, I saw that you do loss prevention. I've lost my mind. I was wondering if you can help me find it. <laughs> what did he say? Well, he cracked up. You know, it was just like, this just I, like my little owls like coming out all over the place. You know? It sounds like it. Your little owl is developing its own personality through you. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, one of these days, maybe I'll say that to the lost profession. It just, <laughs> to it people just like at my grocery store. Oh my god! It just gosh. popped out of my head. You know, it's like loss prevention. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and then he was. Then they were like, "You could do self checkout." I was like, "I don't want to," but then he helped me. <laughs> so it was just like this cascade. Oh, of, that's so like, funny. It's not just that. Yeah. Bye, Lisa. <laughs> I saw your message, Lisa. Yes, Marianne as well. Good Bye. night. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for joining. Thank yes, for bye. Of course. April, yeah. April says good night. Bye, April. I saw you waving, Tony. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye, everybody. Bye. Don't worry, Tony, I see you. I just want to make sure I say bye to everyone first. <laughs> cool. Okay, I see Tony holding up more artwork. I love it. Yes. Wow, that... Tony, I love how she got the yellow in the middle of the pink. Yes, yes. Wow, that that's yellow cool. Is it gorgeous. almost looks like a tree, like a the owl can go through the tree. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, it's like a it's a hollow. Oh yeah. Oh, that's real that's a nice technique. <laughs> nice. I love it. Thanks, Tony. Did you do that really quickly just now? Yeah, with this little CBS gift card. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> oh man, I'm just I am impressed with how quickly you're able to turn these out. I am. <laughs> I'm always like taking my time it's with so making easy. perfect dots. It's so easy. It's almost like you feel. If I sold them, I would feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> this is such no. a good one for when you feel like you can't do anything. Yeah. Yes. It's like, oh my God. Is she oh my God. Yes. Like flowers. It's like, no, this is like. <laughs> Yeah, it's just do it quick and, and go. And it's very satisfying no matter what you do with it. Yeah, um, yeah I, I have a few things that are, that are similar to that. They're just sort of like um, rewire your brain, I guess. And just sort of, you know, make you focus on the positive instead of, um, I don't know, instead of something that's difficult and can make you turn, it <laughs> can make it, make it a, a bad-ish painting um yeah so yeah uh -huh. how are you feeling oh um well as far as the, the pneumonia you mean yeah the covid yeah yeah so for those who don't know um I think most people here know but if you don't I had covid which turned into pneumonia for a month or almost a month it was very close to a month um and I'm still getting there I am not a hundred percent I'm like 95 like I'll still feel it in the morning like in my chest just a little bit I'll cough every once in a while but I'm doing really good right now actually maybe it's you guys giving me like the good energy I don't know yeah but... that's good I'm glad <laughs> thank you thank you I I don't know if you guys have this problem but like you know with MS you of course you always have to watch your limits um you got to take care of yourself that way well I tend to get too excited <laughs> and go past my limit and then I just I feel terrible afterwards well that was me yesterday when I went to the park I just for whatever reason decided it was a good idea to go to the park and not a good idea when you're just recovering from COVID just throwing that out there <laughs> but I am doing doing pretty good today despite all that thank you for asking Wendy yeah, Sometimes I know. Just we were all know. worried about you. Thank you. What was yeah. that, Karen? Sometimes you just don't know. I mean, you know, it's 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 such a toss up, like to give in to, mm -hmm. you know, 
oh I can't go I can't do that yeah give in to um Heather I see you up here there we go I like that a lot oh wow Uh uh-huh oh my gosh what a neat effect that is like with the layering you get that idea multiple layering effects right there I love that that and and the texture the texture right there like I'm I'm looking specifically at where it sort of repeats a little bit I love the way that looks in particular I don't know if you did that on purpose but (laughs) I love it yeah Yeah, how did you get I did like this yeah, I did one direction and I let it dry and then I turned the paper around and did more paints and went in the other direction. Gotcha. But gotcha. still sticking with the same three colors. So is is that um, like a, a blue, a white? Oh, no, sorry. Is that two blues and a white? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's well, the lighting. I don't know, but it looks gray. Yeah, it's like a silver... A, oh. a lighter blue and then a darker blue okay no and I just I love that it looks gray to me here let's see yeah it's the effect is really nice though very cool I know like these are these te- these techniques are so freeing bye Heather hi uh, thank you you're welcome I, ha- I have another one that I started yeah and I just feel like I'm taking my time with it, which is fine. Because I was jealous of your turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> I love the colors. I really am. But honestly, like the the shapes that it's creating, like are you are you um, doing a lot of blending? As if I know what that means. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, my brush. What I've used was <laughs> yes. the crayon. The crayon thing seems to be because it's a little, you know, it's not as opaque. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not as opaque, so it's a little transparent yeah. then. But then I just keep, you know, rather than try to get this thing finished, I'm just experimenting with like these three colors. And well, what if I put something here? And what if I put something there? And mm-hmm. it's just so fascinating the smudge brush because. I can smudge, smudge. I can smudge up and down. <laughs> and to answer your question, you are blending. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that. It seems like that's what the smudge brush is doing. It's blending smudge. things. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to avoid like overlapping, like so that I get, you know, I don't uh-huh. get the brown or I don't get the whatever happens when you mix those two. Oh, gotcha. Together. Yeah. I mean, it might be a fun experiment anyway, just to see what the two colors look like. Well, I've done that and then I don't like it. So mm. it's like, okay. Okay, let me try this. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. No, I, I, I like the shapes that are coming out of it though. Very cool, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night, Wendy. Good to have you. Awesome. All right. Well, I, I have dinner to go eat, so I will probably sign off as well.